welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Um, I hope everybody's um, okay. Um, in the UK, in the Midlands, uh, the weather's not that good. It's very windy and again, it looks like it's going to rain. Um, but um, anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're new here, please subscribe. Um, I upload five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel and please tick the notification bell uh, to ensure that you never miss a, a video uh, that I do and also uh, click the join button and um, it's a blue and white button and you can join my travel channel for 99 pence per month so uh, let's get into the vlog today, which is Travel News UK, five latest exciting facts, May 2001, part four. Um, so number one, the Telegraph uh, says cheap tests for travellers could be withdrawn over accuracy concerns. Mm -hmm. Holiday makers could soon hit, uh, be hit by increased testing costs. Regulators are concerned over accuracy of cheap do-it-yourself lateral flow tests. Number two, holiday firm refuses refunds uh, for um, a number of destinations. Travellers who book ahead uh, for 2021 or had their holidays moved are finding it hard again to claim the money back and um, BBC News says and um, I did last year when I booked two holidays for last year so this year again it's not going to be any different and number three um, BBC News uh, COVID-19 thousands uh, head overseas for holidays as rules ease thousands of British holidaymakers have begun taking advantage of the easing of uh, la uh, lockdown rules uh, for overseas travels, uh, travellers from England that is. Number four, Daily Express, uh, flight uh, could cost you £20 but Covid tests could cost you £100. Simon Calder um, outlined full travel costs for foreign holiday makers. Simon Calder warned uh, Britons of the challenges of travelling abroad this summer as uh, Portugal welcomes holiday makers once more because they're on the, the green list. So again, make sure you, you know, make sure you know how much to, your holiday is going to cost before you book. Um, last but not least, breaking travel news, the government uh, publishes traveller charters. The UK government um, has pu uh, published a passenger COVID-19 uh, charter as the sector reopens. So I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'm going to do my uh, footage video of Colville Town Market and Car Park and surroundings tomorrow. So um, I would like to say everybody have a nice day and thank you for watching and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.